Hi, I'm Dala, and today we're checking out something incredible. In my hands I hold the salvation for all Chadamo owners. It's the first CCS2 to Chadamo adapter. Let's get started. Okay, hold on a bit. Why do we need an adapter? Well, let me explain the situation in Europe at the moment. Out of all fast charging stations, only around 10% have Chadamo connectors available. That means that 90% of chargers are unavailable for those with Chadmo vehicles, such as Nissan Leafs, Nissan ENV200, Peugeot Ion, Mitsubishi Aimiev, Citroën C0, Kia Soul EV, Hyundai Ioniq, Lexus UX300e, and more. This makes planning loan tricks very annoying. CCS connectors are plentiful on each charging site, but often only one Chadmo outlet. And, taking into account that the only Chadmo outlet might be already in use when you arrive, or even worse, out of order, makes for a very stressful Chadmo experience. This adapter fixes everything in your life and makes it possible to use all, 100% of the charging infrastructure. Suddenly, the Chadamo vehicle with the adapter becomes more versatile than the normal CCS vehicles. So let me show you the adapter. The adapter that I'm using is from a company called Dongguan Longgood Technology Company Limited. I was sent this early testing example, which has an USB output so that I'm able to send logs and feedback back to the manufacturer more easily. If you order one, it won't have this USB cable. I just wanted to let you know that. The adapter has an internal lithium battery that can be charged via an USB-C port. Normally, when the adapter is in use, it will charge at the same time as the vehicle charges. But if you leave it unused on the shelves for over two months, it's a good idea to charge it via USB before taking it for a spin. The USB-C port is also used for firmware updates. The adapter has a start button and two stop buttons. It is designed in a way that it shall be safe to stop charging, no matter which cable is disconnected first. So let's use it in practice. As you see here, I have arrived at a fast charger that only has CCS connectors, not a single Chadamo in sight. This is very typical of newly installed fast chargers. You will gonna see more and more of these skipping any Chadamo connectors at all. Okay, so I've authorized myself on the charger, and now we're gonna take the charging cable and plug it into the adapter. This turns it into a Chadamo compatible adapter. So now I'm pressing start on the button. It has started and then I plug it into my car like this and we are ready to charge. That's it. That's how we use the adapter. So if we check out the screen, we are preparing to charge. Uh, yeah, isolation test passed. We're starting to charge and also on the leaf you can see here that the three LEDs light up and we are charging. Amazing. This is insane. <laughs> it just works! <laughs> Oh man, do I wish I had this adapter when I did a road trip through Sweden last summer. Uh, this adapter is going to be a game changer for Chadamo vehicles. It will make road tripping a breeze when you have access to literally the whole network. Uh, I will put some links down in the description if you want to buy uh, one of these adapters on your own. Uh, they are of course a bit pricey. Uh, I will be sharing this adapter with uh, some of my friends that also have Chadamo vehicles. Uh, who knows, maybe this is going to be like the future, having a shared adapter. Uh, let me know your thoughts, uh, put comments below. Uh, will you be buying one of these or will you be waiting? Uh, there's probably going to be more competition in the field of adapters, so yeah, let's see. But I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I will be showcasing this more in future videos. Uh, for instance, the 62 kilowatt hour leaf, it can actually fast charge uh, 75 kilowatts. So as soon as summer comes, we will be doing some testing with uh, high power uh, adapters also. So stay tuned for that video. And uh, yeah, as always, I'll see you in the next video and yeah, dull out.